What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. It is time for WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 30 freaking 3, dude. Yes, ma'am, we're serving them up hot today, ladies and gentlemen, with a freaking fresh McGriddle salad right here on the MDT channel. We got episode number 33 of My Damn Surgery Figure Farts, and today we're going to get started, guys. We got Elite Series 71 in the house. Just a couple figures. You know, I didn't think the full series needed surgery, you know? I felt like, you know, Nikki Bella, who needs to surgerize her. You know, Drew McIntyre, pretty perfect. I mean, what do you need? They already fixed the boots. He has the smaller knee pads. You know, the arm size is great. Nothing to do there. Maybe the neck, but I, you know, that's uh, that's maybe another day's video. You got John Cena in the house. I mean, what can you do? Maybe a fix up here and there with that. We'll have to check on that later on. But uh, Big Show, I mean, it is, it's Big Show, man. What, what can you say? So with all that being said, guys, we do have Adam Cole, Bebe, and Jeffrey Hardy feature today, and we're going to get into all that and we're going to get some surgery going but you guys know how we always start our surgery videos we're going to dive in with everything we're going to do here today on action figure surgery then we will conduct the surgery then we will review the surgery then we're going to get the hell out of here so let's go ahead and get started guys let's start off with uh let's start off with finn balor just because it farts in a bag so starting off with finn balor guys if you guys haven't seen this right here this is actually a custom head sculpt that i repainted if you guys remember you know what let's just get a little figure in here for comparison so I can show you guys what we're dealing with. You guys remember the Elite 70 Finn Balor? Yeah, this head sculpt right here, I repainted it. Believe it or not, these are the exact same head sculpt except I repainted this head sculpt. I had two of them because I have two Elite 70 Finn Balors. I decided to take, you know, one of those demon head sculpts and repaint it to an unpainted demon Finn Balor head sculpt. And I gave him the fade, I gave him the long beard, painted up the lips, the teeth, all the good jazz and this is what we came out with and so the, what I plan on doing with my other Elite 70 Balor body is putting a regular Finn Balor head sculpt on it like the top talents and repainting it to this demon and sort of comparing the two. But here is that. We're going to put this head sculpt though, the non-demon face. We're going to stick this onto this other top talent Finn Balor that I have laying around just because a lot of people tell me it looks like Jordan Devlin, you know, the guy from, you know, the uh, from Ireland that wrestled Finn Balor at the NXT TakeOver Blackpool show. And I can t totally see that, but you know what? We're going to pop it over here and just kind of see what it looks like. And uh, I was pretty proud of that head sculpt. It doesn't look the greatest, you know, but you know what? It, 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 it gets the job done, and we're just going to see what it looks like. F it. So that's the first thing we're going to be doing. The second thing we're going to be doing is taking my little Creator Wrestler Ultimo Dragon right here. We're going to take this figure, and we're going to... Uh, all we're going to really do, guys, is pop some white boots. I have some white Sin Cara boots right here. Allie, what are you doing, Brad? We're going to take these boots, these Sin Cara boots with the crosses on here, and just pop those on there. I think the white will look a lot better with the white wrist tape instead of the black. The black's just very... Uh, almost vomited. The black's kind of harsh there, so I think the white will break up that, and you know, we're gonna leave the black sleeve on there. I actually have a Sin Cara white Elite sleeve. I think it's the Elite 18. Uh, let me know if I should pop that on there as well. If it tie into the boots, it tie into the gold on there, and I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just see what you guys think about that, but we're gonna switch those boots onto that Sin Cara Ultimo Dragon fart bag. Next up, what we're gonna be doing, guys, is we're going to take the brand new Elite Jeff Hardy right here, and we're going to pop this pink head sculpt. Since I have three of this figure. Yes, I have three of this figure. I have one for the pink head sculpt. I have one that I want to do a, uh, you know, a non-face paint Jeff Hardy, which we're going to do in this video. And I wanted to have one for the other head sculpt. So uh, that's what we've done here. I'm going to take this basic Jeff Hardy that my mother grabbed at Ollie's. She was at Ollie's and she said, you know what, Brad? My freaking son loves Jeff Hardy and he has a freaking wrestling figure YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and grab this for freaking 10 bucks. So she picked up this battle pack. Really appreciate mother. Thank you so much. Love you so much, Mama. I don't call her Mama. I call her Mom. I, I don't do Mommy. I don't do, you know, weird stuff. I say Mom. I, I love you, Mom. Thank you so much, Mom. So what we've got here is we got this Jeff Hardy. We're going to pop this head sculpt over here, so that's the only little small swap we're going to do. Also got the little taily, flaily, whaley going on right there. So we're going to head swap that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our WWE Shop Exclusive Hardy. I have three of this figure as well, so we're going to snap this head off, and we're going to plug in, oh, Adam Cole, baby. We're going to take this head sculpt and put it on here. I think that'd be a pretty sweet little fix-up. You know, not too, nothing crazy, but this is one of the extra head sculpts that came with the Elite 71 Jeff Hardy. So we're going to place this over here for another swap, and the final swap we're going to do is we're going to switch out these really small baby legs. You get it? <laughs> baby, because it's Adam Cole, baby. 
bay and he says bay bay and these legs are baby sized. So we're going to do that and we're going to switch out both of these Adam Cole legs and we're going to switch out these small legs for these Bo Dallas legs on both of them. I also have small knee pads for both of them and then the black boots on the Ultimo Dragon are going to go onto one of these Adam Cole. So we'll have a Undisputed Era version and then we'll have a regular version to use whenever the hell I want. So that's what we're going to be doing here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so our first order of business is going to be to head swap all these hardies. So I guess what we can do first is just go ahead and pop off the pink head sculpt again. You don't need any heat to, to do these. I wish every head sculpt was like that. Wouldn't that just be so nice? Like Marvel Legends, you just pop them off. You don't have to heat them up or none of that jazz. Hopefully we're moving towards that, you know, with all these new molds and interchangeable parts that we're getting. But we're going to sit that Jeff Hardy head sculpt off to the side. And uh, we don't need this now. All we have to do is sit this off to the side. The towel came unplugged. Don't even know why it's in there, but we can sit this off to the side. All we have to heat up are these two head sculpts, and I guess while we're at it, we can go ahead and heat up the Finn Balor head sculpt. So maybe we can heat up all three of these heads, and then, uh, you know, just pop all the heads on and off of the different figures, and uh, the, the screaming or the gritted face Finn Balor that's on the D Dolph Ziggler basic body right now is actually already, you know, carved out. I, you know, hollowed out the head sculpt with an X-Acto knife. That way it would be much easier to pop on and off. So all we have to do now is just heat up all three of these head sculpts, and then we can do our surgery. Yeah, freaking tripod's broken. I got a new one, but it's so stiffy lippy. I went back to the old one, and now the freaking lights are unplugged. I don't like the way the lights look. God in heaven. All right, here we go. Got the trusty white hair dryer. We're going to see how this goes, guys. Again, we're going to heat up all three of these heads at the same time and just kind of see how it goes. Not expecting the greatest, but hopefully, you know, it'll work out to somewhat of a benefit here. Uh, yeah, Jesus Lord. All right, guys, this should be good enough, and I'm kind of scared here because you know this Finn Balor likes to snap its neck. All right, we got the Finn Balor off. Now we're going to pop off the Jeff Hardy, and holy Christ in heaven, I'm so glad we heated that up for a while because God in heaven, his freaking head is on fire. I'm going to have to do this off camera. Y'all hear how hard that popped? Good God in heaven, his head's so thick, like that skull is so thick. Uh, let's go ahead and try this Hardy. Okay, we got all three of those off. We can sit this Jeff Hardy off to the side. Now all we have to do is we're done with the Finn Balor head sculpt as well. So we need to take this and pop it onto our pink Hardy before it's too late. So let's go ahead and pop this onto here. Hopefully this works out well. I'm dropping it. I'm freaking blowing it. All right, here we go. This should pop on here. And it's kind of cool. You guys will see at the end of the video, I'll talk about what I was... God in heaven, that freaking head sculpt so thick for some reason. Okay, so that Jeff Hardy is done. We've gotten our Jeff Hardy done. Now all we have to do is the rest is good because, you know, we don't have to worry about, you know, our, our time running now. All we have to do is take this and just plug this onto this head. So that should work like that. So now our, our uh, shop exclusive Hardy is completed. A little snug fit, but it does fit, so that's a good job there. And then our last bit of business is to take our Finn Balor body and take our custom head sculpt, just like so. And again, I've already rigged it up. And look at that, it pops right off. We can get rid of this basic body and this other basic body. Rub those over to the side. I don't know why I said rub. And then just kind of plug this on. I don't think I sealed this head, so that kind of sucks. I need to seal it, but I think I... Did I... God, is that on there? Yeah, it's on there. All right, so it's on there, but it's kind of trashy McLashley. So we're going to have to... Uh, I'll let you guys look at that at the end, but... Anyways, we're moving on to our next surgery, guys. We did three and one. How about that trash? We knocked out all three of these guys at one. Look, the, I'm not showing you the head sculpt, so you have to wait, but we did do that. Now we're going to move on to our Ultimo Dragon. Dragon, which is going to be really, really simple and really, really, really easy. So what we're going to do is actually we may be able to do it all in once here. Uh, let's go ahead and get our Ultimo Dragon. Again, we're going to do the boots. So we want these boots, these boots. Uh, let's go, we're going to have to rig it up here. So those boots, those boots, those knee pads are fine over there. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this all at once, but... Uh, Let's see here. Because you got to heat up. I highlight, like, this is going to be freaking insanity. If we can get this all in one take, guys, this will be literally the craziest thing. I know we try it every single time on extra figure surgery, but if we're able to do this, I mean, this would be absolutely absurd. If we could get all of this in one, but we're not even done yet. You see that? All that right there. That's two pairs of boots. That's all those thighs. But then if we could get the rest or the two Adam Cole legs and boots to go with it, 
Now that would be absolutely nuts, would it not? I, I don't think we could do it, but we're gonna attempt it here. Just give it a little action like that. God, there's no way. I think if we heat it up long enough though, I think we'll be able to get it. Let's see, take this and kind of just plug it right there and just hope for the freaking best. I do not think this is gonna work, but you know what? If we heat it up long enough, it by, by God, it, it could freaking work, Bradley. It could freaking work. All right, here we go. All right, guys, moment of truth city. Here we go here. All we have to do is pop up that and that. Okay, we got Adam Cole's legs off. Now going over to the one leg, pop this onto here. Going over to the other leg, which would be this. Is it gonna go on? I think it's hot enough. There it goes. Okay, we got that on there. Now we have to pop up the other. Oh my God, his legs are freaking loosey goosey trash. Okay, uh, will this go on here? It's gonna be another moment of truth. Got that one. Will this go on to here now? I think I think we may make it, guys. This is going to be absurd if we can make it. Okay, those boots won't come off, so maybe those will be the ones that we don't need to switch. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think the boots got it. Son of a bitch. You know what? But we did make it far enough. These boots came off, though, so one of the boots is going to be great. The Oh Snapper Ultimo Dragon. Our Ultimo Dragon fart bag is done, so we got him. He'll go over here. Uh, let's get some of these knee pads. We got to get these knee pads on the cold, though. Uh, right knee pad up here. God, knee pads don't want to effing go on. Okay, go over to the next. These knee pads are a piece of trash to go on. I like them so much better than the larger knee pads, but God in heaven, are they freaking trash at trying to get it. It's because these freaking Cody Rhodes slash Bo Dallas lower legs that they got going on are just freaking ridiculous. All right, there goes those. Can we get it over this? All right, got that. Now we just got to pop the black boots onto the legs here. Just like so. So this will be our non-Undisputed Era Adam Cole. Because the obviously the Undisputed Era boots aren't on there. So that's pretty much done. All I have to do is remove the, uh, the Undisputed Armband from his arm. And that one will be done. And then all we have to do now is heat up. Well, first of all, you got to get the stupid knee pads onto the jackassery legs right here. And then once that is complete, then we can put the Undisputed Era freaking Jesus Christ. All right, guys, I finally got the knee pads on. Now all I have to do is heat up the Undisputed Era boots, and I guess I will see you guys at the end of Action Figure Surgery where we take a look at everything we've done here today. It really wasn't a lot of surgery, guys. It was just a lot of results here, so that's pretty nice. All I have to do now is heat up these boots, and we will be good to go. So I will see you guys in the next segment where we cover everything we've done here today on Action Figure Surgery episode number 33. All right, guys, so take a close a look at everything we've done here today on action figure surgery you can see we have six complete figures right here and actually like you guys saw we really didn't take that much time to create all of these which is really unfortunate unfortunate no what are you talking about brad you're excited because you get to go to sleep earlier that's very nice very nice let's start off with ultimo dragon right here guys i think that the white boots look so much better i think that um if, the last time you guys saw this it had like a discolored arm and it had like a taped hand here and i really like the taped hand however it was not matching the skin tone this is the Ziggler skin tone slash Ricky the Steamboat Dragon farts in a bag skin tone. So you had to skip over it there and mix it up. And I really like the white boots better. It ties into the white wrist tape. Let me know down in the comment section below. Should I switch out the sleeved arm here in black for the white and gold one from Sin Cara? I think it would make it look a lot better, especially with the crosses there and the, you know, the dragon sort of thread going on. I know you get the black outlines and everything going on, but I think the black is, is a little bit too solid or something. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. But I think Ultimo Dragon turned out pretty freaking and fire to nasty. So there is that. Next up, guys, we have our Jeff Hardy, and this is our Elite 71 head swap with the Battle Pack head sculpt, and the one thing I will say is uh, what I was talking about as far as the, the greatness in here is because if you'll notice, you can't see it on this hand. Ah, uh, F. Where did I put the hand? Anybody who owns this figure knows it. Put there that his wedding band is on the you know the signature Hardy hand, and uh, it is lime green. So now his lime green wedding band will match his lime green gauges that we have here, and I like this. You know, it's not as good as the True Effects one, but I still think it works nice. Since I have three of these, you know, you might as well head swap it, make some different fix ups, make them look even better, and that's what we have here. Instead of the pink head sculpt or our face painted Hardy, we have a regular faced Hardy, and he looks good there. So we have the Elite 71 fix up. Next up, we have two different. Adam Cole baby fix-ups here, and I just hate those legs that they give him. I cannot, I don't know what it is. They're like so baby, dude. Like, look at this. 
Look at how skinny these legs are. And you know what? Even if they're accurate, I don't like them. I think these look way better. They make him look like he's not a child, and they make him just look better. So I like these Bo Dallas legs much better. Um, I had to do. I had to go through a lot of hell to get these actually uh, because I didn't have just regular Bo Dallas. I had Bo Dallas legs and different things. So I had to like tear apart like three figures to get these legs. But it's worth it to me. There were figures that were just laying around or in the fodder box. So I played around with it, got them all switched out, and now I have an undisputed era Adam Cole with the smiling head sculpts Elite 71 and then I have a version that does not have the head or does not have the undisputed armband or the undisputed era boots so you guys know that when I got my undisputed era three pack I did the same thing I made a version for the pick fed you know because he's not an undisputed era he's his own guy in our pick fed so I wanted one version for you know the shelf to have with the undisputed era and then I wanted one for the pick fed if I wanted him to do that so now we have the same thing here with the Elite 71 smaller knee pads bigger legs look so much much better and he can actually rock this shirt I'm glad that I got this new shirt because uh, he's not in Bullet Club anymore he was kicked out by Omega and the rest of the club there so he will no longer have to wear that Bullet Club shirt with it on the sleeve he can have his own t-shirt there because there's no Undisputed Era markings on it it's just regular Adam Cole Bebe on the t-shirt there so the next fix up that we have guys is the Finn Balor grinning or not grinning but like grimacing angry head sculpt and you guys can see that the head sits a little bit high which isn't terrible but it's not my favorite. You know, again, I think that it turned out okay. Uh, it does definitely look like that Jordan Devlin guy, but I think it works all right. You know, again, I don't think that the sculpt is the best, and I think that's why this just looks so odd. However, I think that it works out. You know, it's not perfect by any means, but I do like it. I like the fade job. I think the paint job that I did is pretty solid. I just think, again, it's the sculpt that's not the best, but this does sit a little bit high on this figure. I'm not sure if it would sit better on the ringside exclusive or what, but I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I know you guys that just follow me here on Insta or here on YouTube have not seen this head sculpt but I did post a picture of it on my Instagram so please let me know down in the comment section below and the last figure that we have guys is this Jeff Hardy which is the WWE shop exclusive and I think it looks pretty good I think the face paint ties into the kick pad feet that we got going on even though he doesn't even wear kick pads this is just what Mattel gives him because they don't want to give him just regular boots even though he re wears regular boots and not kick pads but you know it is what it is not a big deal there but I think this head sculpt looks pretty good on this body you know I think it ties in well you get the white and black with the partial face showing through so I think it's just a different fix up and since again I had three of the WWE shop elite I figure why not take one of those head sculpts pop it on there the pink obviously wouldn't look that good because none of the colors match you guys can see here I just don't think that it would match that well um you guys can see that the oh wait a minute maybe the Maybe the pink right there. Would that blue match? It kind of looks like it's matching on camera. But in, in RL, it's not. This is definitely like a sky blue, and this is like a teal. But on camera, it totally matches, I guess, because it's right up next to each other. But I don't know. Maybe that's something to look at. We, we can pop this off because, you know, you don't need heat for this. So let's just go ahead and take a looky-looky at it. Might as well, you know. It's nothing, nothing too crazy. But there you go. What do you think about that? Let me know down in the comment section below which one you like better. You like the pink or you like the white and black? I personally, uh, I couldn't tell you because in real life, I, I can tell the blues don't match, but on camera, it kind of looks the same color. But that is going to do it for today's episode of Action Figure Surgery, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below what you think of all the fix-ups. Uh, would you like to do any of the fix-ups yourself? Let me know what you think of the Finn Balor head sculpt. What do you think about the Jeff Hardys? Which one you like better there? What do you think of Ultimo Dragon over there? And just let me know all the good stuff down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Uh, Almost vomited again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.